Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at the exam papers, the first one of the two June papers. This is covering this is covering um, uh, chapters one to four out of the grade nine study and master um, the textbook that we're using at the moment. Okay. So as we see, it's on page 186. It's for 120 marks, which according to them, the allocation was two hours, okay? So let's go straight into it. In question one, we are told calculators may not be used in this question, which means to say all your intermediate steps must be shown, okay? with the power is on. Okay. So it says simplify and give the answer with positive indices. Indices is exponents. Another word for exponents. So in question 1.1.1 2 into a plus b to the exponent 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So it's 2 times 1 which is 2. Okay with that? Just let me know if you don't understand, you're confused, okay? 1.122, you got b to the negative 7. That can be written as 1 over b to the 7. Any problems there? No? Anything to the power 0 is 1. So that 0 is only on the 8. So that's going to be negative 1. Not so. If it was negative 8 to the exponent 0, that would have been 1 positive. Can you see that? But as you can see negative 8 to the 0, that 0 is only on the 8, therefore negative 1. Okay, you all agree with that? Yes, okay. Let's go on to the next question. So as we know, this here, this should simply be 3 to the exponent negative 6 divided by by what? By the root which is 3 in this case. Okay? Which is 3 to the exponent? Negative 2. So what's going to happen now to this uh, base of 3 now? Yes, goes to the denominator. So that will simply be, that goes down. That will be 1 over 3 squared. And 3 squared is what? So it's 1 over 9. Okay, any confusion there? No confusion? The next one? What can be done first here? What can be done first? Multiplication. Multiplication. Is the basis the same? No? So I can't add the exponents in, the base is not the same. What can happen to a half? A half can be written as what? 2 to the exponent? I'll we'll bring this up. 2 to the exponent negative 1. Okay? So raised to the exponent negative 3 times 2 to the minus 2. Now what do we do? Sounds like you guys forgot it, did Multiply the exponents. So it's 2, negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. Multiply by 2 to the negative 1. Is the basis now the same? The basis are the same and I multiply what do you do to the exponents? Let's add the exponents. So it's going to be 2. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. And what is 2 squared? 4. Okay, any confusion as well? Yes? I 
Oops, I made a mistake there. Here's my mistake. So it's negative 2, and you're multiplying it by still the same. What did you do to the exponents? We add it to 3 plus negative 2 is 1, which is simply 2. Okay, thank you. You all okay with that? What needs to be done first in question 1.1.6? Do is I'm going to move this up here. As you can see, we're running out of space. Okay, 1.1.6. What needs to be done first? Multiply the negative in. You all agree with that? So wrong. First with the exponent, yes. What mass the brackets first? So it's going to be negative. What is negative squared? Positive. So it's negative into positive. What's 3 squared? 9. X to the exponent? 2. How do you get x squared? There's a 1 on the x here, not so? So 1 times 1 is? No, 1 times 2, sorry, is 2. Okay, now what do we do? What's negative times a positive? Negative, 9, x squared. negative 9, x squared? Let's look at question 1.1.7. 1 .1 1 .1 How many terms are here? There's three terms. The term will be simplified first before I can add this up there. So 2 to the negative 3 is what? 1 over 2 cubius plus anything to the power 0 is? 1. So that becomes 1 plus 2. We are now multiplying it by the same what you do to the exponents. You add. So it's going to be 3 plus minus 4. And we now subtract that. Minus, not so. So minus, minus 2 becomes plus. You all agree with that? So 2 cube is what? 8 plus, 1 plus. 3 minus 4. Negative 1 plus 2. Is 1. What's uh, 1 plus 2? 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, so it's going to be 3 and an 8, or that's 25 over 8. Okay? Any confusion? We did this, this work a long time ago, not so? But you were tested in June on this section as well. Tested in, you were continuously tested on it. In 1.1.8, are those bases the same? Are the bases the same? No. Is not all the bases A's? Yes, they're all the same. So what's the number in front of A's here? 1, 1. 1 times 1 times 3 is 3. A. When you're multiplying it, bases are the same. What do you do to the exponents? Add, so it's going to be B plus, C plus, D. Can I add B plus, C plus, D? Can I simplify that further? No, why not? And like this. So we leave that one. Okay. So if A is equal to negative 2, determine the value of. So wherever we see an A, we put a negative 2. So it's negative 2 into, there's an A there. So it's negative 2 into negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 times negative 2 cubed. You all agree with that? Because inside this bracket here, 
Negative 2i is negative 2 times i. You all understand? So, um, did you guys agree? All right, so, um, sorry about that. Let's just carry on at this point. So, what needs to be done is we're going to sort out that exponent. We're going to do the, the inside the bracket first and then the exponent. You all okay with that? Yeah. So, we're going to get negative 2 into negative 2 to the exponent 3 is what? Negative 8. Negative. Negative 2 times negative 2 is what? Positive 4. Raise the power 3. So we can multiply these and that thing. We can sort of the exponent. Not so? So it's going to be positive 16 minus positive 4 cubed. It's positive 64 times the negative is negative 64. Not so? So it's going to be negative. What is 16 minus 64? The answer has to be negative. So 64 minus 16 can gives you 5. It's 4, 1, 8. Is that correct? Yeah. It's negative. Okay. Now you should ask yourselves, people, if this was if this was an exam, how many of that 20 mark one marks are you would have you would you have back? All of it. Okay. Close to all of it. Okay, let's, let's hope so. Okay. As I said, these are some of the questions that comes in the exam. Okay. Let's look at question two. Given the expression 2x to the power 4, Minus 3x, open brackets, x plus y, close brackets, minus 4x, minus 2. The question says simplify the expression and rewrite the descending powers of x. Now answer the question that follows. So first we must simplify and then write the descending powers of x. Once that is done, that expression's answer, or that the answer you get, you must use those, um, that expression to answer the questions that follows. So, we multiply that in, we're going to get 2x to the power of 4, minus, what's 3x times x? 3x squared. What's negative 3x times y? Negative 3xy, minus 4xy, minus 2. And then we got like terms, not so. So, it's 2x to the power of 4, minus 3x squared, minus 7x. Y minus 2. The question is, is that expression in descending powers of x? Yes, it is. So, that's the expression they were looking for. Okay. What does descending powers of x mean? From, from biggest exponent or power of x to the smallest. How many terms are there? There's four terms. Another word for four terms is what? It wasn't us, but what's another word for four terms? And so we should be taking out. Um CB, is your final? Take it out, please. And this is for moderation, yes? Got it? Um, uh, the department has requested that our, our files get sent into the, the department. They need to uh, check if our, stand, if our standards are the right level and things like that. Okay, so to see if we're doing our job. No? Don't worry, there's no pay increase, so I'm not going to get extra money. Okay, that is what your concern is. No? People, next question. What is the index? People, what is the index? Huh? The ex uh, exponent. What's the index of x in the third term? What did I say? Um, what do you another word for four terms? Did you guys answer that question? Huh? A polynomial. 
Three terms? Trinomial, yes. People, the third term says one, two, three term. The third, what is the index of the third term? X in the third term. So the index is one. You all agree with that? Next question. What's the numerical coefficient of the second term? What's the numerical? The number. Coefficient is a number in front of. And the numerical coefficient is? Negative 3. Determine the numerical value. Again, numerical is the number. Okay? Kiara, what's your final? Oh, is it? Just put it back, please. So it's, uh, I'm just waiting for that one. Now. Otherwise, leave your file. You don't find this. <laughs> find it, Michael. It must be there. See if we find it. <laughs> right, 2.1.5. Determine numerical value. People, what's a numerical number? Numerical value of the expression if x equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 3. Show all calculations. So it's going to be 2, open brackets, 2 to the exponent 4, minus 3, 2 squared minus 7 times 2, times negative 3 minus 2. You all agree with that? Huh? Any, uh, any confusion with the substitution there? No? So, that's going to give you 2. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Minus 3. 2 to the square is 4. Minus. We're going to multiply that out. Negative 7 times. Um, negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Negative 14 times negative 3 is positive. Uh, 42. Is that correct? Right. 42 minus 2. So that's 32. Minus 2 up. Plus 42, minus 2. 32 minus 12 is 20. Plus 20? No. 20 plus 40? 60. Minus 2? 60. Not so? Okay. Any confusion here? No. In question 2.2, in 2.2, if a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to 2, the question says determine the value of negative 3a over b minus c. Now, if you're busy watching this video here, at this point, of course, whenever you see the sum, you hit pause. You do the sum on your own, and then you see how we do it in the video, okay? That's how you're supposed to be using the video. You don't sit and you watch the video and not do anything. Okay, you must have done the questions already prior to, to watching the videos, or at this point you watch, you pause, you check if you're correct, you watch the next part, you pause it, and so on. Once you got the sum, you answer it, and then... You check if you could according to, to what you're doing. Okay. Girlfriend, are you busy with maths? Eh? <laughs> oh, are you telling your maths stuff? No, she's not doing it. I'm just going to actually do it. What is she doing? She's telling your maths papers out there for something. No, no, no. Why was you listening to Matt's book? Because in a Matt's book. Matt is my Matt's book. I'll talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Alright, so if a is equal to minus 3, b is equal to negative 2, it's uh, negative 1, and c is equal to 2. Determine the value of negative 3a over b minus c. So we've got negative 3a is negative 3 over b, negative 1 minus 2. You all agree with that? What's negative 3 times negative 3? Positive 9. Over? Negative 1 minus 3. Negative 3. What's positive divided by negative? 9 divided by 3? 
God believe they're going to give you three marks for something so easy. No? I, I agree with you. They mustn't give you e um, unnecessary marks like this. It feels like you're primary school again. Sorry? Yes, but I want you to pass us. <laughs> right. We are told the perimeter. Of a rectangle, determine the perimeter of the rectangle if the length is 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 and the breadth is. Right, so in other words, we have a, tri a rectangle, that's a triangle. Okay, rectangle with a length of 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. And the breadth is x squared minus x minus 8. Okay. So how do you calculate the perimeter of a rectangle? Perimeter is 2 length plus 2 breadth. Okay. So you got 2, what's the length? 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 plus 2 times the breadth x squared minus x minus. So what do I do now? Multiply out. Get rid of the brackets then simplify. We multiply this in. So it's going to give you 4x squared plus 2 times 3x, 6x. 6x. 2 times negative 5, negative 10 plus. 2 times x squared, 2x squared. 2 times negative x, negative 2x. 2 times negative 8, negative 16. So what do I do now? Add like terms. So 4x squared plus 2x squared, 6x minus 2x, negative 10 minus 16. Okay, so what's 4x squared plus 2x squared? 6x squared. What is 6x minus 2x plus 4x? Minus 10x minus 16x. And negative 10 minus 16? Minus 26 centimeters. Okay. Yes? Um, I will give you the mark there. You see, we're nice people. Yeah. So we just want you to do well and pass. And you guys just don't want the marks, I don't know. Right, people, you guys understand? And there were 16 marks on this whole question here. Yeah. Five marks on this one which is answered. Okay? So know how to do these things. Will benefit us in the long run. Okay? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off again. As we need space. Right, question three. In question 3, point 1.1, point one, the question says simplify. So, simplify, we must get rid of all the brackets, and we must add like terms and all of those things. Not so. Right. So, this is a binomial by binomial. So, I'm going to multiply using distributive law. Not so. So, it's going to be 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. 3x times positive 2y plus 6xy. Negative 2x times positive 3x. Negative 6xy. Negative 2y times positive 2y. Negative 4y squared. Are they like this? Yeah. Yes. What is 6xy minus 6xy? Cancel. Same size, different signs. They cancel. And there we go. Any problems here? Any confusion? No. Right, let's look at the next one. 3.1.2. Are there like terms inside the bracket? No. no. If there was, what would I have done? Multiply. multiply. You can multiply, or I could have added add first. If you add first, instead of multiply first, what, what law do we call that? If you multiply first, we call that distributive law, no? So if you add first, what is that for? 
associated, commutative, sorry, commutative. Commutative, you add first, then multiply. Distributive, you multiply first, then you add. Okay? So let's look at this one here. So can I add first? No, there's no like terms. So multiply, let's see what do we get. Negative 6ab squared times 3ab. Negative 18a squared b cubed. What is negative 6ab squared times negative 2bc? Positive 12ab cubed c. Are they like? No. Let's look at the next one. Three point one point three. It's a quarter a times twelve a a cubed. A quarter a times negative four a squared. A quarter a times a. So what's a quarter times twelve? A quarter times twelve. Because one strikes three years. A times A cubed, A4. Positive times a negative, negative. A quarter times four, one. A times A squared, A cubed. A quarter times one, a quarter. A times A, A squared. You want to give that? Okay. Let's look at the next one. 3.1.3.4. You've got a, 2a minus 3b all squared. 3a minus. Uh, 2a minus 3b all squared. What needs to be done first? Sorry? What needs to be done first? Write it out twice. Not so. We're going to write it out twice. So that will be 2a minus 3b. 2a minus 3b. Now we do that thing again. Distribute the block. What is 2a times 2a? 4a squared. What is 2a times negative 3b? Negative 6ab. Negative 3b times 2a? Negative 6ab. Negative 3b times negative 3b. Positive 9b. So what do I do now? We look for like this. So it's 4a squared. They're the same signs as well. So I must add. So negative 6ab minus 6ab. Negative 12ab. 9 plus 9b. Any confusion there? Let's look at the next one. How many terms are there? Three terms. Also known as? Dynamium. So before we can add and subtract them, I must first simplify the terms. So I'm going to multiply the story out. I'm going to write that out twice. I'm going to multiply that out. You all okay with that? So what's 3a times a? 3a squared. 3a times b? 3ab. Negative 4b times a? Negative 4ab. Negative 4b times b? Negative 4b squared. You will see that before. As I said, I'm going to write it out twice. It's going to be negative 2 into a minus b times a minus b.
Okay. So negative 2 times 3, a squared. Negative 6, a squared. Not so. Negative 2 times positive, b squared. Plus 2, b squared. You all agree with that? Yeah. So I can add these like terms, not so. And multiply that story out. You all okay with that? So it's going to be 3a squared minus 3ab, uh, plus 3ab minus 4ab, negative ab, minus 4b squared. So I got negative 2 into a times a, a squared minus ab, minus ab, plus b squared, minus 6a squared plus 2b squared. People, this year, whoops. I can't take this apart, but the negative 6a squared plus 2a, uh, 2b squared, okay, that goes next to the bracket D. Why am I not putting a D? Because of the cutting of space D, as you can see. Otherwise, I would, okay, there's actually no space. So it's going to be negative. It would have been negative 6a squared plus 2b squared. Okay, I'm start charging myself here for that space that gets cut off. Okay. So what do we do next? Multiply negative 2 in. What, else, what could I have done instead of that? The add the like terms inside of it. Okay, but... The core was to multiply it out first. Okay, it's not going with that. So that's going to give you 3a squared minus ab minus 4b squared minus 2a squared plus 2ab plus 2ab minus 2b squared minus 6a squared plus 2b squared. Now what we do? What do we do now? We add like terms. Not so. This is the light up. So, 3a squared, negative 2a squared, negative 6a squared. Minus ab, 2ab, 2ab, and that there. Not so. So, what's 3a squared minus 2a squared? 1a squared. 1a squared minus 6a squared, negative 5a squared. Negative ab plus 2ab is ab, plus 2ab is 3ab. Negative 4b squared minus 2b squared, minus 6b squared plus 2b squared is minus 4b squared. Something like this is worth something like a minimum of 5 marks. You must get uh, some like this in your exam. And if you don't get one, just, just at, the, at the end of the paper, ask, but why, why didn't you give us one of those exciting things? Huh? You must start liking this stuff. Mm -hmm. Every morning you get up, you tell yourself, I love maths, I love it. You will start believing the lies you tell yourself. Yes, my God. Sorry? No. No, from 3.1 to 3.1.1 uh, 3 to 3.1.6. Well, the whole 3.1 is 20 marks. Imagine we give you 20 marks for this little, oh my word. It would be nice. You know? It will be nice, yeah. but now they give you no marks for this year. You yeah, don't care about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at 3.1.6. Again, people, we must multiply out. Okay, and then divide the negative 3. You all agree with that? So what is 2x times 4x squared? 8x cubed. What is 2x times negative 5x? Negative 10x squared. What is 2x times 1? 2x. What's negative 3 times 4x squared? Negative 12x squared. What's negative 3 times negative 5x? Positive 15x. What's negative 3 times 1? 
Do you all agree with that, people? So I'm going to get your like terms again. Group your like terms. So it's going to be 8x cubed. What is negative 10x squared minus 12x squared? Negative 22x squared. 2x plus 15x. Positive 17x. Minus 3. Any confusion there, people? No. The next sum, we are asked to divide 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 19x plus 6 by the. Now I know I didn't ask, we didn't do this sum in the exam, in the, in the previous sum. Um, we were doing the, 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 the work out of the textbook. We didn't do the section, not so? Yes. But now there's other schools that might have done it. So I'm going to do it anyway. Okay? So I'll show you guys what I'm going to understand. Many, many schools are not going to do this. Okay? This is done in grade 12. Okay? The long division. So when I don't, at the end of the sum, say I don't understand. You say you won't understand. Okay? So it's divided by 2x minus 3. But some of you, one or two of you will probably pick it up anyway. So we ask ourselves, okay, 2x cubed divided by 2x is going to give you x squared. So in other words, x squared times 2x is going to give you 2x squared. And that's what I want, uh, 2x cubed. And that's what I want. It's a number that is going to make that it will cancel out that thing. Okay? So it, x squared times 3x, uh, times negative 3, is going to give you negative 3x. I put the like terms one below the other. What I do is, as I do in long division, I change the signs of the line. That becomes negative and positive. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed cancel. 7x squared plus 3x squared is going to give you 10x squared. As we do in long division, I bring down the next number, which is 9x. Question you should ask is us. Two, uh, some number multiplied by 2x is going to give it 10x squared. And that number is positive 5x. 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. Again, change the signs of the line. So 10x squared minus 10x squared cancel, and that's what I want. Negative 19x plus uh, 15x is negative 4x. We bring down the next number, which is 6. Okay? Again, you ask yourselves, what must we multiply by 2x to get negative 4x? The answer is negative 2. So negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Again, change the signs on the line. That cancels, give you what? No remainder. Okay? As I said, at this point, you didn't need to know that, okay? Or you should, or should I put one of those in the exam? You didn't, you saw me, imagine I put exactly the same stuff. Huh? No, okay. I think about it. Okay, subtract. 6xy minus 2x squared plus 3x from the product of. So what did we say? Whatever follows from you, right? First. So from the product of. So it's going to be x plus 2y. 5x minus y. 5x minus y. Minus y minus because I six subtract. 6xy minus 2x squared plus 3y squared. You all agree with that? Yes. yes. It is wrong. What's wrong with it? The bracket? Yes. It's not bracket. Why do you need a bracket? Because of the negative sign. More than one term falling in negative sign. You must have a bracket. Can you see that? So what do I do now? You multiply the story in. So x times 5x, 5x squared. x times minus y, minus xy. For, uh, 2y times 5x, plus 10xy. 2y times negative y, minus 2y squared. Now I multiply the negative. Negative 6xy, plus 2x 
squared minus 3y squared. So what do I do now? Like terms. So minus 5x squared plus 2x squared. Minus xy and 10xy and negative 6xy. Then negative 2y squared minus 3y squared. They're all like terms, people. So what's 5x squared plus 2x squared? 7x squared. Minus xy plus 10xy, 9xy. 9xy minus 6xy, positive 3xy. You all agree with that? And negative 2y squared minus 3y squared is negative 5y squared. Any confusion there? That, uh, with regards to the previous question, there was actually another way of doing this. I just saw it. Let's see, maybe you can pick this one. Say for argument's sake, the sum was divide 8 by 2. What would have been? 8 is equal to 2 times? Okay. So they actually looking for the 4. Not so. So if I take that into account, I say, okay, we've got 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 19x plus 16 is equal to 2x minus 3 times some number. Not so. Let's see if we can unravel this. So you ask yourself, okay, 2x times what is 2x cubed? Get x squared. N positive 6 times what? No. Negative 3 multiplied by what is positive 6? Negative 2. Not so. So if you say, okay, you're going to multiply this out. I'm going to get negative 3 x squared. 2 x uh, times what? So. Negative 3x squared plus what is going to give you 7x squared? Positive 10x squared. Negative 3x squared plus 10x squared is 7x squared. Not so. So 10x squared divided by 2x squared plus 5x. And that should be the same answer as I had in the previous calculation. When I did a long division. Okay, but as I said, more of this is done in grade 12. That is um, uh, what we call um, polynomials, I think it's called. Or cubic factorization. People question four. Write in scientific notation. Write in scientific notation. People with it, the comma currently after zero, not so. I'm going to move it three, six, seven. So it's 6, 5432 times 10 to the power 7. Do I need to put the zeros after the 2? No. Why? Because it doesn't have any place value as it stands. Okay, well, the next one, the copper must move 1, 2, 3. So it's 5, 353 3 times 10 to the negative 3. If the comma moves to the right, negative. When it moves to the left, positive. Okay. Then in the next question in 4.1, 4.2.1, represent the following values of x on the number line. Okay? On the number line. So, a number line, what are the critical values or the important values? Negative 4 and 2. Is the negative, uh, negative 4 going to have an open or closed circle? Open. Open. Huh? Open. The 2 is going to have open. Why? So it's excluding. The 4 is going to have a closed circle 1. It's inclusive or including. So we said x is greater than minus 4, that direction. x is less than 2, this direction. So with the overlap, that is where it's going to be represented. Why do you think I got the solid line? Because x is an element of all the real numbers. Okay? You got x is an element of all real numbers. It's all the values between that there. Let's look at the next 
4.2.2. In 4.2.2, speak a bit loud. In 4.2.2, x is less than negative half, or x is more than 2 and half. So x is an element of real numbers. Again, you're going to draw a solid line. Okay? So here we got negative half, and here we got 2 and half. Negative half, open or close circle? Open circle. At 2 and half, open. So x is less than, if it's close to the x is less than, even if it's written like that, x is still less than negative. Oh, can you see that people? As long as it's close to the x is less than. So for the less than direction, of course, in that way, or x is more than 2 and half. Okay? Of course, it's your, your, your x bar, no? Let's look at 4.3. In question 4.3, if x is an element of integers, solve for x represent the solution on the number line. So here, yeah, if x is an element of integers, what are integers? You've got positive and negative numbers, whole numbers. Okay. So if you solve this here, we take it over the equal sign. So x equal to negative 3 minus 1, sorry, not equal, but less than and equal, as you can see the inequality as there. So x is less than equal to minus 4. So when I draw this on your, on your number line, is negative, or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So here, is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. So negative 4, does it have an open or close circle at negative 4? Close. Why? Because that's inclusive. Negative 5? Close. Because that's included. Negative 6? Close. Negative 7 and so on. And it's going all the way to negative infinity. You guys understand? At uh, negative 3, I'm not going to even put the open circle. Let's just leave it out. Did I have to draw all of this, this part here? No, I could have started at negative 3, then negative 4, and so on. Does it make sense, people? During our math lesson later today, we will conclude this um, example. People, enjoy the rest of your day. Good morning, class.